What if congregations across our nation, all of us, opened our doors for prayer on the same weekend? What if thousands of sanctuaries were filled with people praying throughout the day, gathering in the sanctuary, sitting, kneeling, standing, waiting, listening in holy space? No formal service, no sermon, no teaching, just the invitation to meet with God and pray. Soft music, scriptures on the screen laced with needs for prayer for a broken world. What if all over the nation before work, in the morning, people stopped at their church to pray? And fasting lunch, they dropped by again to pray. And on their way home, they gathered and perhaps lingered, waiting, listening. It may be that God is more interested in talking to us than we are to Him. You see, our nation is in trouble. The signposts indicate that we are nearing a point of no return, that is, without the intervention of God. We desperately need what only God can send, a great national spiritual awakening. And there is the promise, if my people worshipfully seek me, embrace humility, repent, and change their behaviors, the nation can be saved. Such change begins with the people of God. You see, we're not just in trouble, we're in trouble with God. It's time to pray. Imagine your church and other churches all over the nation Wednesday through Sunday, Pentecost weekend. No brand, no program, any congregation, all denominations, people meeting with God. You know, a prayer meeting changed everything in Acts 2. God's Spirit energized the church. The city was impacted. Thousands were converted. Gathered nations heard the message. And again, as in Acts 2, the nations are here. And a spiritual awakening would not only energize our congregation, it could impact our cities and perhaps affect the globe itself. It's so simple. Open the doors of your church. Invite the people to come and pray. Let's do it together all across the nation. Pentecost weekend, America's prayer meeting.